Hey guys, CCT here, back with another video. Right real quick, today I want to show you how to store your nano coin on a nano ledger. So the first thing you want to do is go to your ledger manager. I'll be doing this on a Chromebook. Now it will say to begin, connect your ledger wallet. After you've connected that, you'll see this screen. It will tell you your model. You want to make sure you that you are updated and you have the latest firmware. Then you go to applications and you scroll down and we're looking for nano. Right there. Then we press this button right here, which will install the application on your nano ledger. Give that a second. This screen will pop up and say allow ledger manager. You accept that. Now this could take up to a minute. So we will give that a second and I'll come back to you guys. Now you'll have this little icon on here that says nano. So you want to open that I believe and go into the settings and go to auto receive and push yes. Then we'll go back. After you have that nano application installed on your ledger, you want to open your ledger wallet and reconnect your nano ledger. After you enter the pin, you want to go over to nano and click both buttons and keep that on there. Then we want to go to nanovault.io. Then you'll come to this screen right here and you click create a new wallet. After you click that, it will give you a seed. You want to make sure to write down your phrase and your seed and then click I've saved. Then you'll come to this screen where it'll ask you to set up a password. However, even if you lose your password, you can still always restore that with just using your seed, so keep that in mind. After you enter your password, you'll come to this screen right here where it says it's configured and it's ready to receive. So after that, we're gonna go into accounts and we're going to copy that address to our clipboard and send a small amount to make sure that nothing gets lost. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. So I just sent a small amount to this wallet and it was here already in a matter of seconds. When you're done, you want to make sure that you sign out and disconnect your, disconnect your nano ledger and you should be good to go. So there you go. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If I happen to do something wrong, leave it in the comments below. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.